Okay folks, here we are. This is day seven, game seven of my Great Patrick War campaign. I'm sorry about the delay in the uploads. I went on holiday for 10 days and couldn't get anything done in that time other than think about the game and what the next what, what the next battle is going to bring. So let's get right into it. I've spent my points. Uh, I've spent on research points. I've upgraded um, my tanks now to BT7s by putting some points into tanks and a few other things but we're on an attacking mission if we look here at the battle location um, we are going to be attacking so I can't check the location just a quick run through phase one uh, rifle squad uh, we've got a field engineer um, I don't think we need the engineer do we we just don't and we've got next let's just take the engineer out that gives me five extra points what can we do for five points something cool it's got to be another sniper. Snipers are just great. Two snipers. Uh, scouts ahead because we're on an attacking mission this time. Um, and this is a captured um, anti aircraft gun. You remember that I caught this up on the hill uh, in the last battle. Phase two, our uh, famous mine, uh, mine throwing, Mininwerfer, comes with us with the T20 to pull it and some uh, recon squad and some supply. Phase three anti-tank guns, some more infantry, some more artillery to batter and then phase four is uh, two squads and two tanks coming in to try and finally uh, push through and grab the objectives and in our back pocket we've also got two medium artillery barrages to uh, soften up the enemy. So that's there we are, let's get straight into it. Oh what have we got in front of us here? Lots of open ground is what I can see. Is this the airfield? No, uh, some train lines, some kind of industrial complex, a big circular road, or that could be a ditch. Um, oh, it is an airfield. There's an airfield. I can see some aircraft down in the front here. So that's why it's a big flat pancake. Okay, we're going to do this the same as we always do. We're going to have a look at, uh, we'll let Dawn come up first, and then we'll hit pause. We'll take a look at the ground, put together a plan of attack, and then we'll get straight into it. So let's let our dawn come up. We're looking down into a railway junction, very nice. Uh, the enemy's already coming in from the south. I can see by the arrows on the mini map, I'm gonna hit pause. So we're deployed right in the northwest corner. The enemy's coming on from the south. We've got two objectives. Let's just fly forwards over this. Um, so we're coming up to these train lines. That's an anti-tank blockage. That's cool. And our first objective is over here. So we're going to try and hold that and seize that. This is a big anti-tank ditch here. And our second objective is just a little guard post. So we've got two objectives very close together, which again suits us because of the mine thrower. So what are we going to do? We're going to run forward. Um, we are attacking, they are going to be defending. The, don't think the uh, we're on the right side of those mine ditches. We've got some dug defences. We're just This is going to be an urban battle. This is going to be a street fight, I can tell. We're deploying in this corner, so we're just going to fan out and hold buildings as fast as we can. Okay, let's hit pause and let's go. So phase one call in. We've got some infantry. Move those over there to that building. A couple of medics, so we need to set up a medic station just there. Uh, there's a lot of ordnance coming. A sniper. We're going to send a sniper right around here just to scout out. And we've got this vehicle here, which is our um, tracked anti aircraft gun. Let's call him phase two. So phase two is more infantry, so I'm going to send some infantry right out here to protect this flank. We've got an ammo truck. We've got an anti-tank team, so let's put the anti-tank team looking at those crossroads, nicely blocked streets there. Okay, we've got some contact here. Sniper's got a contact. So we'll get him to stop there. And we'll move this forward. Where's the contact? In there. 
sniper's kind of out in the open, not a smart place for a sniper to be. Got a wound. Okay, we'll just come back and get to our deployment. So that Let's just flank the guy in that trench with another sniper. So I'll put him there. That's our mine thrower. So we'll pick that up with our deployment truck. That's the ammo truck. And then the recon team I'm going to send right out here on the side so we can see what's happening on that open ground over there. We're still engaging with that guy there. Lovely, lovely. That's picked up the mine thrower. And I want the mine thrower within range of that objective. That'll do there. And we quite like the ammo truck up there as well. Still doing a little bit of fighting. The come on, just guys, two snipers. Thank you very much. And now just somebody occupy that trench for goodness' sake. We've got another contact on this side. We, uh, we've got some heavier contact here. Sniper, get in there, go down. We've got some Russians jumped into the trench with our sniper. Just not how I wanted this to go. Bring the That's our sniper down. Let's get the medic to him as soon as we can. Okay, let's just pop that down there to cover this. So we've got some contact here as well, so we need to uh, get these guys a bit better organized and get some backup in the form of this rifle squad. There's a nice defendable position here with trench lines, so we better definitely take that. Oh, and we and we found where the enemy is. Where is our mortar? Here it is. Do we need it a little bit closer? No, I think it's going to be okay there. Let's just throw a few shells into that area and see what happens. Yeah, we're within range, that's cool. And then we need some infantry to back that up. Oh, we're in close contact here. Should I occupy that house? I don't want to get trapped in that. I'm going to call in phase three and give them a tank in support. There. And I'll put the machine gun motorbike out on that side as well. Pull that medic back behind the wall. As goes the heavy mortar that will need ammunition it will eat ammunition like crazy it's over there and push that machine gun forward what we got back at base okay we've got a tank crew for caps I'll just put those there and some more infantry for this assault they can occupy that trench there so we've got a mortar here and an anti-tank gun. I've got a feeling we're going to need the anti-tank gun in this kind of area so I'm going to put that over there and we've got two more medics. Now we've got our main fight over here. here so 
looks to me that this is kind of right for capture. Okay, so there's some mines out here. That would be the scouts that's found the mines. So I just need an infantry squad to come in and take that. So this is your guys. So you're going to be the assault team. How are we going to assault this? We'll settle up here behind this building first. Sniper's doing a good job. Where's our second mortar? Where's our second mortar? It's here. Just want to soften up the resistance a little bit more before we. Uh... So we push this machine gun up to isolate them on that side. Push that machine gun motorcycle there. We just could knock out resistance in this area. So. I'm coming back to the mine thrower. I'm just moving it a little bit further away. Just there. Right there was the machine gun. So that's taken out that machine gun. And these guys will occupy that building there. Now quickly I've got to say to the mine thrower, stop firing and the mortar. Well we're taking hits as we go in. That was our own mine thrower, just blew the bejesus out of those guys. Where's that sniper? Move the sniper to there. Get the sniper to there and let's roll this vehicle into there as well. We're short on infantry now. We've just taken a, a, a load of uh, pain in that in that location. We've got a casualty there. We need a medic. Get the medic onto that casualty ASAP. We've got a tank in the location. We've got a sniper behind that wall. We've got a second sniper behind this wall. And three more infantry fanning out and giving some protection on the outside. Okay, we've got an infantry, enemy infantry, just the other side of that wall. Phew. That was um, fairly brutal. Let's move the tank there in case of... Uh, not the tank, but you take my point. Uh, we've got incoming mortar fire. That's what's doing us this damage here. And our own mortar isn't helping matters. So I'm going to put the mortar actually into the location. Okay, we've got quietness now. So let's resettle what we're doing here. I'm going to move this... Uh, heavy mine thrower forwards the anti-tank gun I need that to get somewhere that where there's open space open ground we took another hit there where's our medic Just 
going to put some more of those uh, scouts in. Now we're going to deal with the other objectives. So objectives over there. I don't know. I haven't really got the infantry cover for this. So we'll put those there within sight. So there's mines out here. I can't see the minefield signs. But uh, our guys are going to find them for sure. That looks about a great position for the mine thrower. Move the ammo truck away from it. And let's get that ready to do, do some just out of range. The range is just on the edge there, which is okay for us. These guys can, on the right flank can occupy this trench. Their buddies into that tree line. This is an anti-tank squad. Haven't found any armor yet. Interesting. Okay, so we've got some kind of machine gun. So I could really do with that this mortar coming over and supporting this assault. Got some infantry there. And I want this heavy mine thrower. There it goes. It's just outrageous. That is just such an outrageous weapon. As you can see, I've got some more um, defenses coming in, some more attackers coming in from the south. So I'm going to put the BT-7 into that position. Move the motorbike out there so I can get to see if I can get some eyes on what's going on. Uh, there's some kind of big gun there. That one there. So uh, I'm not going to mess around here. I'm just going to call an artillery barrage in on that area. And just completely suppress it. And there's another big gun moving over to my left. That's the guns, that's excellent. That should deal with this, that should, really should deal with this. Have I got some assault infantry close enough? These guys. Two more rounds to come in. Get them moving. More assault infantry here. This guy, there's some artillery out there in that field. I can ju I've just seen it. There's, there's a big gun there, and I really don't want that one. That big gun there, it just blown the crap out of my guys. That's the mortar. How am I going to deal with that big gun? There's two of them now. There's a big gun here, anti-tank gun, and there's a big gun here. Battle's almost over. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be brutal here and just call in that second strike. I've taken casualties and I'm hurting a little bit here. Bring some medics forward. That's the mine thrower, so I want that to stop now. I haven't got another call in. So two BTs and a lot more infantry. So we've got to reinforce this position. We'll send an infantry squad over to finally cap this position. this artillery barrage finish and then storm in and grab that trench that should be the last one yep 
Now will we get a counter attack? Let's take move in and take that. Motorbike scouts out on the flank. This BT I think can come round now because I think we're no longer afraid of that. Um, um, artillery piece that was out that's now smashed to hell. So we've got a cap. All we've got now is this counter attack building here. How are we going to deal with the counter attack? Just with what we've got. There's an anti tank gun in support, so I could really do with my mortar. We've got our own anti tank gun there. Where's the mortar? The mortar is here. So I'm going to move that mortar within range. These guys have got this medic's got no ammunition, so there's no point in him being in the fight. We just need to deal with this little counter attack, and then we'll be good. My medic is in trouble. He's been surrounded by. Uh, get out of there, fella. Come back, you join your buddies. I want that anti-tank gun covering that road. And my mortar, I want you to knock out this big anti-tank gun. There it goes. Let's get some fire down on that one. That's wounded one of the crow. He's only got one. He's only got white phosphorus. I say only. That's kind of burnt out the, burnt out the crew. Means we get to capture the gun. Oh, there's another gun here too. Okay, we'll stop with the white phosphorus. That's enough, fellas. You need the ammo truck. You really need the, you need the ammo truck. And you guys on the heavy mortar, stop it. I think we've pushed off that counter attack. We have some casualties. we got in reserve here these two BTs now we know that the anti-tank guns not there we'll just push that through that medic can deal with the guy who's bleeding out on the corner there and we've got another ammo truck which we want over by the heavy mortar heavy mortars here Okay, so we have had a counter-attack here and we've lost control of this objective. So we push the BT forward and what I really want now are the, um, the crew team. I want that crew team to capture that gun. And then these guys can come in and secure that objective. Okay. They've recruited that gun, which is not good news. Um, he could really hurt with these BTs. There it goes. That, that's a BT in trouble. I want that mortar on that now. And now I need an assault team. Have we got anyone who can do the assault? Uh, we've got a small assault team here. Just cap that gun, please. Okay, we're there. So, you get that. What's down there? There's a little Maxim or some kind of weapon. Can you cap that? No. That was a mine. That was a minefield.
Okay, so we've just got one guy out there bleeding out in the minefield. Should we try and get a... Um, I think so. BT has just taken a, a big hit. There's some kind of heavy artillery piece out there. But our guys here have found it. Get a, get a shot, get a shot. Short, increase the range before they do some serious damage. There's only two guys on that gun, so the loading time is quite slow, as you can see. Uh, they're getting shots off a lot faster than I am and causing a lot of damage there. But I want that out now. Fire. Way too long, way too long. I'm going to hand it back to the team and get another couple of guys on that cruise to speed that up. There's a couple of crew here from the tank. Jump onto that gun. Okay, it's been abandoned, it seems, so seize that. Meanwhile, medics. We've got a medic here. Get this guy back in the fight. Uh, our BT has been abandoned. This BT has been abandoned. Okay, I think we're done. I think we've got it. So I'm going to, as again, as, as I say, I might cut the video here because I'm going to go for the scavenge and the repair and actually make sure we pick up all the equipment. It's not very interesting to watch. I'd like to keep this as a fairly tight video. So um, we'll move on to the next phase, which is the post game. Wow. So, so here we are back on the screen. Uh, we got 5.8 research points, which is great. In terms of casualties, that was relatively light for us. If we look at phase one, uh, they were all good. Phase two, uh, one of the rifle squads, they got heavily beaten up. I think they were the ones that assaulted the base. And the um, the, the recon squad also got a bit chewed up. So we'll resupply both of those straight away. Uh, the heavy mortar, again, was outrageously good. Um, another rifle squad got bad, badly chewed up there. Only two out of 11 guys. Uh, the tank group got chewed up. Um, we won't go through this in detail, but as you can see, we've got some nice, nice captures now. We've got some heavy, um, very heavy uh, artillery, 122 millimeter, and another 155 millimeter here, which puts us in a good place for the defense on the next mission. So I shall leave it at that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that battle. Uh, please stick with us for more uh, Gates of Hell Osfront content, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Come